Well, hello, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 12th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And welcome to another day in the new mini ice age. Look at this, Calgary, Alberta, yesterday receiving some flurries. Didn't really stick too much. Still no joke, warm. guys. But literally 30 kilometers west of us, two feet of snow fell in the Alberta foothills. That was close. What's also close is this very large sunspot region that is very active. And this is the same sunspot region that we were watching last week send off three CMEs. So it is earth facing right now. We need to be really aware and cautious of what this sunspot is doing. I'll be keeping an eye on it. And I apologize, five days I have not uploaded but I'll explain in a later video. But I want to thank you for tuning back in. Welcome any new subscribers to my channel. I'm just looking at images of the sun here in the last 48 hours. And this is the sunspot region. Looking at 304 angstroms. Quite a bit of action in the last few frames here. Also watching some pretty large plasma filaments dancing on the northeastern side you can see it building up there but then something peculiar happens you see that large shot of plasma straight out there we're gonna get a closer look here watch this whoop Wow, our sun is an amazing thing. And I want to thank you all for watching and enjoying these videos with myself provided to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory and of course, Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Staying aware and prepared, trying to stay young and have fun. But our Earth is going through a big change and we got to be ready. Look at all these earthquakes today. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes, guys. We had some pretty sizable earthquakes about three hours ago, reported in Luwuk, Indonesia. We got a 6.8 at a 17 kilometer depth, large shallow earthquake. We also had Papua New Guinea popping off 5.9. Pretty sizable earthquakes today, wow. You know, and I apologize again, I haven't been able to give my updates on the earthquakes, but it's been very active this week. And man, oh man, look at this, a 4.6 today reported here by USGS, reported in other places as a 5.4 with a tsunami alert. We're gonna get into that as we go to the Pacific Disaster Center at the end of the video. But also, Lima, Montana, a 3.2 today so that's pretty close to myself it's about 400 kilometers south of me but it's also very close to yellowstone dun, dun, dun. stay aware and prepared again look at all these earthquakes in mexico as well el salvador still popping off the fours 5.0 down here in the mid-atlantic ridge and pretty quiet in europe and africa and then this weird 4.5 in China. But definitely Indonesia and parts of Japan again on high alert. And even parts of Kamchatka as well as we had a new volcano reported to be erupting. We're going to get into that later in the video as well. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Not very seasonable temperatures across North America, as yesterday almost two feet of snow fell in th across three states as that large winter storm raced across the United States and Canada right here. But that's the least of our worries. This next one here is going to be electrifying. There's going to be a lot of thunderstorms and tornado warnings with this superstorm. Definitely will be a superstorm. 
very close to hurricane force winds. On the back side of this, especially when we've got warm temperatures in the Gulf feeding it. And looking north here at the North Pole, it doesn't look anything like spring is on its way, except for Europe. Hashtag Grand Solar Minimum. But again, five-day forecast is still showing a lot of moisture and a lot of drastic jet stream changes. As we don't even have a typhoon named yet, and normally by this time, we have something, but our jet streams are so wonky right now. Overlooking South America, still mass daily evaporation. Europe still seeing some cool temperatures. Saudi Arabia desert receiving tons of rain, higher elevations, a lot of snow. And then look at the size of this system that's going to be heading towards Greenland. You see the black levels in the snow accumulation. That's at least three, four feet of snow. Wow. But again, I want to thank everybody for watching today. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Share with your friends and family from across the world as we stay aware and prepared. Got to stay young and have fun as well, guys. Pretty crazy times we're living in. God bless you all. God bless humanity. And thank you for watching. Looking at flooding conditions in Baton Rouge, parts of North Carolina, as well as Michigan and Midwestern United States here, winter storm warning. Flood warnings. And winter storm warning, Western United States. That's the new system coming through. It's going to be dropping a lot of snow. You can... So here, see, reported a 5.4 Eureka, California, with a small tsunami alert. 5.4 Ferndale, California, and Eureka is where the tsunami alert was. Showing here in Kamchatka. The two volcanoes that are actively erupting, erupting Shevelach and also uh, Kluchevskoy. Kluchevskoy. There we go, Kluchevskoy. And I've been watching on NASA Worldview. There is tons of smoke, mass amounts of smoke coming over these areas here where there are some natural forest fires going off. I don't believe they're natural. But anyways, heat... Fire and carbon can be used to modify the atmosphere. Flood alerts straight across Saudi Arabia desert. I want to thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.